Hey, Steve here, and in this new video, I'm showing you how to use the Photoshop Warp tool to correct lens distortion in a building without having to apply the distortion correction to the whole image. Because when you use something like the lens correction filter and you correct your wide angle distortion, then you end up quite often having to crop out quite a lot of your image around the edges when you fix those uh, dodgy lines. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that without having to crop any of your image. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button to let me know so I can keep making more just like it. And remember to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell notification icon so YouTube will notify you every time I publish a new video. So this is the image that we're gonna be working on to uh, go through this demonstration. And as you can see, because I was quite low to the ground and I was using a really wide angle lens and I've got quite a lot of sky in the image, the camera was obviously pointed up quite a lot. and that pointing the camera up towards the sky, that kind of exacerbates the uh, the lens distortion and those lines in the building here. So obviously you can see they're not straight up, they're kind of leaning in towards the center of the image. So what I'm gonna do is just show you a quick technique that you can use to correct, like if you have a situation like this, then you can use it to correct the building without having to use the lens distortion correction uh, filter which would end up meaning that you have to crop a lot of the edges of your image out when it moves the whole image and shifts everything forwards. So the first thing we're gonna to do to achieve this is just grab the rectangular marquee tool and just grab a section around the building. And I'll zoom in just so we can see a bit better. And what we're gonna do is just copy and paste this. So I'm gonna press Command or Control C on the keyboard and then Command or Control V to paste. And now we've got layer one here, which is just this little section. And so now I'm gonna use Photoshop's warp tool by going to the Edit, Transform and Warp menu item. And that brings up this grid. And now each one of these points around the edge of the grid and each one of these squares within the grid can be moved and shifted around to basically warp what's inside this box without affecting anything else because we're only using it on this cut and pasted section uh, on layer one. So, you know, there's no definite sort of surefire set of um, movements or set of adjustments that I can give you that will work for your particular image. You just have to kind of experiment. But this is the general idea and this is what I'm gonna to do to fix this one. So I think obviously this is leaning towards the left so we need to get it to shift a bit towards the right. So let's start moving some of these control points towards the right and just kind of see what happens really. Now, just kind of shifting these all around. It's a bit of a trial and error process, but you know, have a play and you'll get the hang of it quite quickly, I think. So just moving these around. I mean, I'm only using these little control points on those intersections on the outside at the moment um, but what you can do if you want is just like grab a square and shift it around and everything around it moves with it so yeah like I said just have a play with that and see what works best um, but I think already we're at a pretty good stage here so I'm just going to hit return on the keyboard and compare the before and after on this so this is before and this is after, and that looks pretty good. So that just leaves us with one more thing to do to uh, fix up any issues around the edges of that copied and pasted section. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but if you look around uh, here where I'm just moving the mouse, you can see there's kind of a funny line in the cloud, and that's just because of, you know, I've moved and shifted those edges around. And so I just need to add a layer mask to this. I'll grab a, a brush tool with a black foreground color and just gonna brush that out. So with 100% softness, um, well, 0% hardness, I should say, on the brush, then that allows you to just softly blend those edges out. And, you know, obviously again, your image will be slightly different. So you'll have a bit of a different task ahead of you for blending those edges. But essentially this is the method and this is how you would do it. 
So just a quick tip really for you today. I hope you enjoyed this one and you uh, can use it at some point in the future. So with that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.